Hey, it's Pimento. I'm back here again with more rain sweet or sweat. I keep messing up the uh, <laughs> the pronunciation of this game. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying your day, night, evening. We're gonna continue up where we left off, and thank you guys for the uh, the views for this game. I mean, that was not responding at the moment because it's loading. <laughs> I actually lowered the. Um, the uh, graphics a little bit more they're in low settings i don't really see a difference right now but it should run a bit smoother like i said i'm experimenting with the uh with the uh with the graphics so far oh my poor car wow that would have been dangerous it sure would uh we're gonna continue off here we're in jack's auto repair shop I guess we're gonna talk to everybody here. Jeez, I hope she's not hurt. Alright. How's her car looking? Uh, I don't know. As yeah, he, he's working on it. Talk to me when it's done. Alright. All right, let's talk to Jack. Hey, Jack. Sup, dude. Um, let's go with two. How long would it take to fix? Oh, I can't speak. How long would it take to fix it? A couple of days, maybe three, depending on how quickly I can get the parts. Shouldn't take more than four days at most. Oh boy. Uh, what's the issue with the car? Well, the headlights and bumpers are gone. We'll need to have them replaced. I had to have. I'm going to have to check if I've got replacement parts so I can fix it quickly. Hey, you can fix me the big wrench. It should be big red. All right, you're amazing, bud. Thanks. All right. All right. He used that to get us. I'm guessing that's the toolbox. But what about this? Oof! What a beauty. I wonder if it's Jacks. I bet it is. Oh, of course, nothing simple in life. The two was is locked, Jack. Oh, that's weird. Why did I lock her? Anyways, the key should be someone on the stuff behind your car. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I say smoke. Okay, that's enough smoking of me. You know what? Let me smoke. It's a uh, tab, right? Nope, it's a... Uh... There we go. That should stop me from smoking every five seconds. Oh, I got the key. Hmm. Tar, shovel. Wonder what that uses them for. So yeah, this game is very interesting. Uh, I think it... It went below the radar because I think even even though I'm not the uh, I know there are bigger YouTubers that uh, do indie games like I'm doing at this moment, but I didn't really see almost any announcement of this game like at all. Uh, number one, it's Big Red. I read the text. This must be it. Because uh, this type of game I'm interesting on. Oh, forgot to e. Yeah, that's it. I love this wrench. Thanks, bud. Uh, ask about a convertible. Ask about the. Uh, let's start sweet. The red convertible. <laughs> the red convertible there. Is that yours? Yeah, man. It's a '65 Mustang. Love that ride. I got, 
I got it used for pretty cheap by the guy who couldn't take care of her anymore. Lucky the car got something that keeps it running like new now. Uh, you? <laughs> You're pretty smart. Yeah, it, it got me now. I spend all of my free time on her, fixing her up and making sure she runs better than new. And it keeps her happy by taking her a lot, taking her along. Beautiful drives on the road outside town. Uh, okay. And then that shovel in tar there. What do you use those for? Uh, that dude. Uh, mm. I do a bit of construction work on the side sometimes, you know. Fix up a driveway and stuff for the extra cash. And that conversation, I guess. Detective, you're, you're investigating D Diane's murder, right? Murder? Murder. And Chris, yes. Do you have any information that could help us? I don't know about information, man, but I know what he did. I misread that. But you get what I meant. What do you mean? Chris. He killed her. Uh... Why did you say that? I... Uh, everyone could see it coming. Diane, they say she was trouble. Scared of him, even. Someone in town should have done something. We all knew this could happen. But no one cared enough about them to bother interfering. How do you know all this? Um, I don't know. Rumors around the town, mostly. Uh, did you know them? I like that I say one thing and then the, the detective says another thing. But it's pretty much the same thing, I guess. <laughs> not really. People barely did. They're not the kind to come out and make friends with their new neighbors. It looks like. That was a long pause. Oof. Uh, uh um. They still felt like outsiders to the rest of us. Uh, what were you doing last night? I... What was I doing last night? Yes, that's what I asked. Oh... I... Oh, right. Uh, I, I drove a car miles from here and drank a few beers while I enjoyed the view. At night? Yeah, the stars, man. You see? Was there anyone with you? Did you meet anyone? Nah, man, there's nothing like the pleasure of your own company sometimes. Alright, thank you for your help, Yak. We shall be back if you need any more questioning. Of course. Of course you will. What do you mean, Jack? For your car, man. Come back when it's fixed. <laughs> you get too serious way too fast. Chill out. Alright, let's go into the uh, notebook. I'll look at that later. Guess we're talking to the uh, the other officer. My partner, I guess you could say. Hey. Hi. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine, surprisingly. Uh, but uh, of course, I apologize. Uh, I'm really sorry about the crash. I don't know what. It's alright, especially since we're okay. Something else worries me though. What's that? What happened back there? How we hit a tree? I saw something. I thought I saw something. What did you see? A person. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is, you know. <laughs> but you, you, but are you okay otherwise? I mean, I don't know you, so I don't know if this is a regular thing. No offense. Uh, no, that's okay. I know what you mean. 
Yeah, I mean, you collapsed back there in the crime scene too. And then this. Yeah, I don't know. It's been, I've been a little dizzy all day. Maybe I just need a nap. Seeing this kind of stuff kind of bums me out. <laughs> um, I'm just saying, if there's anything wrong, you can talk to me. You can talk to me about it. Don't hesitate. Uh, I won't. Detective. I want to drive to the next town for a bit. Want me to drop you on the way? That would be great. Thank you, uh, Jack. Oh, boy, we're 10 minutes in here. Again, it's loading. Loading and not responding. There we go. Here we are, the famous Pine View Main Street. I'm kidding, not much to see here, really. Let's see if we can talk to some, uh, some of the locals on the way to the hotel. All right. It isn't very busy at this moment of the day, but there should be a few people out here. Father Smith knows a lot of about Pinewood. It'll be a good idea to talk to him before heading to the hotel. He should be around St. Mandalene Church. Also, oh, also, here's a map of Pinewood if you want to get around the town by yourself. M for map. M for map. Pressing M for map. It's not opening. Oh boy. Uh, press N to... Okay. Let's see now. Oh, okay. Um, this is where I, uh, I was last, uh, last part. Uh, this one is to uh, okay. Is she gonna walk with me or? Oh, she is. Okay then. No, we can't enter there, huh? Fiction or non-fiction? Fiction. Me too. <laughs> Alright. Look at this random dude here. What's in the coffee shop? No, no, no. I want to see what's in the coffee. That's Mark. He runs this coffee. He's a pretty great guy. You're too kind, Officer Blunt. I want to see what the menu is. No. I want to see the menu. What's in the menu? You should come here for breakfast someday. The owner Mark is a pretty great guy. You mean me? Yeah, I mean you. Well, let's talk now. Hey, detective. Are you investigating the shooting, right? Yes, I am. The whole thing is so tragic. Anyways, do you want some tea, coffee? This is my cafe here. No, that's all right. I come, uh, come over here if you want... A pint. Keep your unhealthy habits to yourself, Alan. Too much coffee is unhealthy too. Also, if you haven't noticed, I'm already smoking a cigarette. He's also smoking a cigarette. You know him. He's just like to annoy me. Uh, and if I let it get to me, I'll do the same. Who is? Who is that? That's Alan, the owner of the bar next door. And my brother. Twin brother. Really? I don't see any resemblance whatsoever. Not that you know by the way he leads he leads our lives. I don't know how we ended up as, as polar opposites. I know. I got all the good stuff. Ugh. Anyways, you had any questions? Um, how long have you lived in Pinewood? I was born here. My family lived here for many years before that. We left the city when I was about 10. My dad was looking for a better work. 
I like to turn as soon as I graduated about nine years back. I prefer life here. Big city orange, oranges for me. No, it's just me, my books, and coffee shop. Life is simple, and I love it. Did Alan also come here with you at the same time? Now, Alan, he only joined me here five years back to get a new fresh start. Maybe he can tell you more about that. Um, let's talk about number three. Uh, what can you tell me about them? Is there anything else you can tell me about them? Anything that stands out? Well, kind of, I kind of, I kind of identify with Chris in a way. He sounds like he moved here for some peace of, peace of mind. This place provides. And to start a small business for himself. What business? He's been trying to get a hotel party off the ground here, for what I've heard. He had trouble getting the project approved. Maybe Father Smith can tell us more about it. He's involved in plan in the planning committee. Um, my throat is getting dry, so I don't know how much more I can speak. No, no, barely. Hands full of times, maybe. They came into the coffee a few times, but that was in the early days when they just moved in. They wouldn't say much to me or anyone else, and mostly kept to themselves. Or I could say they didn't have eyes for anyone else, to put it bluntly. They look very much in love. Okay. Uh, do you live alone? No, I'm married. I've been... I have been for like six years now. I remember my wife in my own coffee shop, actually. Oh, that's a good story. <laughs> Does Alan also live with you? Nope. But he lives close by. Why was he last night? Yes, I think so. I didn't check. Uh, okay. This is more questions. Uh, let's go with number one. What were you last night? Sure, as always. I closed my place at 8 p.m. I bought some supplies from the general store down the street and then went home. I'm assuming the storekeeper will remember that. Yes, Mr. Brown. Oh, wow. Well, Mr. Brown was in last night. She should be able to confirm what I said. And Alan, uh, he didn't come work yesterday. Took the day off. Said he was feeling unwell and he stayed home all day. All right. <clears throat> Now my throat has died. Sorry about that. I don't think it's unusual in the past few days. No, not that I can have. No, I can't say I have. Everything's been pretty much the same as usual. I think that's everything, right? Yep, five it is. Come up, I will talk to you later. See you around, detective. What is the music here? And where did the other guy go? Huh, looks like Alan locked up and left. That's how we're gonna talk to him tomorrow. Is that old man Jenkins? Bread and biscuit, donuts and coffee. Hello, um, Grandpa. <laughs> I'm not your grandpa. And your name is? Grandpa. Ah. <laughs> oh. Mr. Grandpa, I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. And I was wondering if I could ask Mrs. Brown there out for a date. But wondering and doing... <laughs> I like this old man already. <laughs> oh, senile old man. Just look at her. Oh boy, makes me feel 40 years younger, doesn't she? Hmm. Do you ever plan to grow up, Grandpa? A any more going up? I'm just <laughs> I fucking love this. Oh, I love when just old people talk about this like this in real life. Like, it's just amazing. And I'm not planning to do any before as you are. 
Goodness, she has to mature it at this age. She likes me. I know she does. You're deluded. <laughs> yes, I love this. Woohoo! Anyway, any question, young man? I thought I did. Uh, I'm just going to straight for the. Uh, there's no way this old guy could do anything. Can you tell me about Chris and Diane? Uh, when they first move in, Chris would often come in the evening to buy some things from me. He'll come in daily, almost. Look pretty cheerful too. Then a couple of months, he just stopped coming. The last few times he came, I could see that something was in fried. Maybe trouble with his lady. I don't know. He and Diane went to the church maybe a couple of times. Once or twice, they came over there often for coffees and donuts. They were a quiet couple, I tell you, it wasn't quite okay. Oh, all right. Where did the music go? Mark. <laughs> it's like the music just stopped for us. Like what happened to the music? It's really, but it's really weird. Yeah, I guess I overlooked the music. I keep hearing the run button too. This, uh, um, uh, any anything unusual? Typical police talk, you know. Oh, you might have. Yes. Mr. Brown's been tying her hair in. Oh. Hmm. Oh, Grandpa, you notice know these things. I mean, if I was beautiful, was oh, God damn it. Very passionate. Damn it, Grandpa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no, not much the same, I guess. Uh, yeah, I kind of knew that. Uh, back to the previous questions. Um, maybe number two. What do you think I was? Slipping? That's why. <laughs> uh, no, no one can. I live alone. Okay. All right, Grandpa. We'll talk later. Who are you calling Grandpa? Eh? I'm not your Grandpa. I love this old man. Love him to death already. That's one way to name a bakery. I may be old, but I'm not literally let deaf you now. <laughs> Sorry, Grandpa. I'm not your Grandpa. <laughs> Uh, maybe I should be a few more persons before stopping this video. Uh, what is this? Those are look, looking good. What do you mean uh, they look good? They're the best in Pine Wolves. The best donuts made with Grandpa's love and warmth. Wanna buy some? Uh, maybe later. Thanks, Gramps. What did you call me? <laughs> I swear. Really, this with no, with no music is really weird. Hmm, who is it? Oh, detective, you have to excuse me, I'm feeling busy at this moment. Let me just come in and it's take stock. Oh, hello, detective. You want me to open the box or are we not talking to them? Well, that's okay then. Where was the hotel at? I'm in this street, right? Where's the hotel? Oh my god, that's us. We're still a long way. That whole... What the? Okay. This is the road we need to take? Let me know. I, wa I want to. 
Oh, music, finally. Oh, thank you. Well, that looks beautiful. Because this is the beauty about indie games. They capture beautiful moments like this. Is that the church, too? I wonder when we get the run button. I really wish to run. Even though this game is in low settings, it looks beautiful. Hey look, the pastor's coming here. Father Smith? Oh, hello Detective. Stone. Detective Stone. First time in Parvo, I'm assuming. I assume. Yes, I wanted to survive. I wanted... That is good, that is good. What do you think of it? Do you like it here? Uh, it's beautiful. It, it is, isn't it? While you were here, you must enjoy the view, breathe in the fresh air, take a walk in the woods, but then you must probably be to yours. Okay, Father. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I see. Anyway, you, you had questions? Um... Number two, I guess. Can you tell me about Chris and Diane? Do you know them well? Not too well. They came to church a couple of times after they moved to Pine Woods, but soon they stopped coming at all. They would do themselves from the rest of the community, and I can't say that I helped them. Friends can help in difficult times, and it obviously they were beginning to have difficult times by the end. Okay. Uh huh. I wish you luck in your investigation. Uh, can you tell me about the hotel project, please? Sure, Chris wanted to open a hotel about a hotel with about forty rooms or so. He want so he wanted to keep it small in according to our bylaws, but even forty is almost pushing it. Those things always go out of hand when the tourists start coming in. They're also on touch piece. Okay. Alright. Understandable. Uh, what were you last night? I was here all night. I finished some work and I went to bed by 10 p.m. I'll say. Okay, thank you, Father. I'm sure we will. That's not creepy. Forty of age. Hmm. All right. Where do I need to go? Uh, I guess we need to go down, though. Huh. Construction in late 70s, Saint... Okay. Alright, well we're reaching the 30 minute marks and I think after the whole, we reached the hotel and interviewing some of these people, I think I'm going to call it a video. Instead of talking in this video, uh, I mean, well in this video and probably in other and, mo and most of them too, uh, because we are a detective and we need to ask questions. Uh, I think that's obvious, right? If there are any police person or any cops who see this video for some reason, um, let me know if you do comment on my videos um, 
What do you think of those these line of questionings? Because I'm curious to see if that is like to protocol. Like how do I how do I go down? I want to like go down. Alright, take care detective. Oh, okay, okay. Ah. So head down. Alright, we're going down. Huh. Alright. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I am. Central ST. Alright, we must be getting close, right? Oh, I like that in the uh, in the foreground. That's lovely. Where am I going? Who puts a hotel like very far away from... Uh, I guess it makes sense, but... It's a little bit far. When I start to see trees, you know... Is that the hotel? Yes, it is. Can I stop smoking, please? Oh, hello. I'm Mary Patterson. I run this hotel with my husband. You just the sun, I presume. Why am I looking the other way? Yes, I am. Good to meet you. I'll prepare our best room on the top floor for you. It isn't the biggest establishment, and so it isn't too fancy, but I think you'll like it there. You must be tired. There's hot water in your room, and dinner is ready. Come in, I'll show you the way. Thank you, Mr. Paddington. Even though I'm facing the wrong way. Hotel rooms. They all feel the same, don't they? Reminds me... Reminds me of better times. Wow. What? What is this? This will lead to the bathroom. Sure, let's use the toilet. Why? <laughs> Why? Ah, oh, that feels good. I need to know that. What kind of switches are these? Ah, uh, that's a light switch. Much better. My clothes are in there. I can change them if I want to. What can I change? Oh. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Can I stop smoking? That's all I ask. Pretty much. That's all I ask. Looks comfy. Let's go back. Let's see the, the moon. You know what's funny? At the time of recording this, it, there is a full moon right now. Being fully beautiful. Alright then. I guess with that, after I take this night's sleep, should I go to sleep now? Yes. What the hell happened to me? Back there. After all those days, god damn it. No mark, there's no peace of mind here. The silence is in there. Oh, what is this now? Well, in any way, uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna call this a video. Next time, I guess we're gonna have this. Um, <laughs> 
this weird um, dream state so uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this long video so please leave a like favorite comment and subscribe for more follow me on facebook twitter and yeah this has been premium toys and i am out if you need me i'm gonna go to sleep like the detective and hopefully not have a nightmare see you guys in the next video